sector. Meanwhile, real estate sure doesn't want to be left behind in the technology race. Uh, you must be reading headlines about all that's happening in the dot-com space, including the websites which deal with property. Consumers are increasingly looking towards the World Wide Web to do their bidding, from property purchases to community management and more. And the startups behind it are taking the challenge ahead on. Ankita Sinha and Lakshmi Sivdas have this report. IBM Rajiv initially had a tough time finding the right house to rent and also the perfect flatmate to share it with. But that problem was easily tackled by speed flat chatting, an event inspired by the concept of speed dating, except to help find the ideal flatmate and house to rent. Startups like Flatchat that has organized the event are leaving average customers like Rajiv spoilt for choice thanks to the out-of-box services they are offering. I have a shared flat and I'm looking for flatmates. So what I'll do is I'll post on Facebook, Twitter, there'll be 10 other places I post to. But what if Flatchat is an app that you go create a profile and there only you'll see four matches with, with whom you can chat real time and then exchange, hey, I have a flat, are you looking for Sites like Flatchat are one amongst many innovative concepts hitting the real estate market, thanks to the booming popularity of new online portals. Sites like Housing.com, CommonFlow, Flats.2 have seen major interest from investors in India and abroad. While CommonFlow has already secured over $49 million from investors since its launch in 2007, Housing.com has secured over $140 million in investment. With massive fundings and young minds at the helm, the strategies offered by these sites have begun to revolutionize the real estate market. Even players with standalone portals have begun taking notice, like Tata Value Homes did by tying up with Housing.com very recently. Here the idea was to facilitate people who will come to housing.com traffic as well as draw tra traffic into this to expand the reach, um, give an uh, enhanced experience to those who are coming into that and through that facilitate sales. So what are some of the innovative strategies that have come out thanks to these sites? Well, for starters, they are now offering end-to-end -end solutions by drawing up legal requirements like rental agreements or for that matter even helping figure out loan schemes that suit your requirements best. People spend approximately four to five hours outside the registration office trying to register their house. right? And if you do this nationally across the whole year, it comes to around 50,000 man days of productivity of the average Indian gone down the drain. Right? So, housing rental agreement will let you do the same thing online in just 5 minutes. Apart from this, housing portals are also catering to customers' post-buying needs, like community management via groups and mobile applications. You have common flow groups which gives you a complete private social network where you can connect with the other buyers who have already bought. And once you start living there, you might form an association which handles the day-to-day -day task. So does this mean that the home buyers can now complete the entire cycle of buying a house online? Well, not yet. For some aspects such as identity verification and signing registration papers, one still needs to physically go to an office to get things done. And that future isn't far off either. With the internet revolution on in full swing, home buyers may soon be able to buy a home and also finish all the formalities from the comfort of their own home. With Lakshmi Sivdas in Bangalore, Ankita Sinha for NDTV.